Brooklyn 214 Podcast. We back. It's your boy K. Lou right here. Got my boy Brooklyn right here. NYC. Got special guest Kev Sony the third right here. Tell them where you from. Kev Sony the third, highly opinionated podcast. Forget Don Silver Sunday. Oh, okay. Switching it up on us. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. Now, we just got, got through talking about NFL. Uh, we got a couple games going right now. We got the Jets beating the Colts. Chargers beating the wow. Chargers beating the Browns. I was right on that. I told you that. <sighs> Falcons beating the Buccaneers. Uh, Seahawks beating the Raiders. Panthers killing. Well, Panthers getting killed by the Redskins. Um, Vikings in a close game with the Cardinals. What's wrong? What's wrong with their defense, man? Man, like, our prediction's been off third week straight now, man. I don't know what's man, going on. I ain't that far off right now. I had the Texans winning. I had the Vikings. Chicago, I ain't worried about that. Pittsburgh came back in time today with the Bengals. Uh, so, you got just update on football. Pittsburgh tied now. Just update on football. We, he, you know, he happy here, Pittsburgh fan. It is what it is. Uh, Laugh now, cry later. But we're here to talk about a couple of things. Drake, uh, Drake brought Chris Brown back on stage with him last night in L.A. Um, the same thing he did with Meek Mill a while back. And then you had, um, he was on the LeBron show on HBO. Mm-hmm. The shop. Talked about, yeah, The Shop. I still haven't seen a full episode yet. I need to watch Good it. Show, man. I've been Real too busy trying show. to catch up with Ballers and yeah. Insecure. Yeah. And I, I yeah. fell behind on a lot of stuff. Like I said I hadn't caught it out, but I got it queued up. Um, I, I fell behind on Black Ink Crew. You, well, you actually watched that? Yes, that's the only reality show I watch. Black Ink Crew? Well, they got no other I used to watch it too. I used to watch it like the first one or two seasons, yeah. but not after. After the Duchess chick, she ran me off, man. That's she's not on that no more. Nah, she, she ain't been Sky on that. Sky kind of, kind of moved me away from it. She extra, man. Yeah, she yeah, is. Yeah, I, like I mean, damn, like yeah. They went to New Orleans. A dude caught her right in the face. She tried to punch him first. Like she always do. Dude swung back. Bow, right in the face. And then he got jumped and beat up by C's and Ted. I watched him. And to me, C's, I'm sorry. C's ain't 100%. Man. What's funny, man, <laughs> me, and my, and me and my other homies got a saying. We like... We don't watch reality TV, but we watch Black Ink Crew. Like everybody, mm-hmm. every time somebody asks something, nah, don't we don't watch that. reality TV, but we watch Black Ink Crew. Yeah, where they from? New York, so what? Yeah. This is one from Chicago too that I watch. Yeah, New York one. Man. I started out. Watching I watch both Black of them. Ink, but... Actually, the one from Chicago is pretty good. Yeah. Right. The one from Chicago got better looking women. Why you got to hate, son? Why you talking about my NYC sisters, man? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, but, but the one from Chicago is where they be having sex with each other and all that, right? Well, they do that in New York, too. They no, I'm talking about, like, from the first episode of Chicago when they were talking about all the time you, they had sex with each other and all this crazy. That's how you build a rating. I mean, that's how they, they get doing. it on up in the booths and all that, right? Donna from the one New York smashed every dude in the shop. <laughs> Am I lying? But you know what, man? Some okay. of them chicks, some of them chicks be nice, and some of them just be light skinned chick with tattoos. And Ted take all the females. Ted the player, bro. Man, what, what's homegirl named the light skinned one with the gap and got a tooth missing at the bottom? Donna. Yeah. The big behind one? Yeah. Dude, she's pretty, man, but her teeth look like piano and keys. And she smashed everybody in the shop. Go fix yeah, your yeah. teeth, man. Hey, fix man, your teeth. You know she got money now. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fix your teeth. Why, they, why should you change it? No, nobody's complaining. That's a, that's like Bro, she, most of these dudes don't give a damn. Don't get me man. wrong, she upgraded from the first season because she was horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, I mean, her head, everything, bro. I was like, bro, this chick. You had these dirty dudes, man. They ain't turning down no ass. Who's the one that kept going to jail, though? Who was the one that kept going to jail? The one in Chicago, like somebody's brother, kept going to jail. Talking about, uh, not four, but, uh, I don't know their names on that one. Damn, I think my mind just went blank, dude. Name. Uh, I watched Fred Van. Go. Big Swole one? Yes. Van, yeah. Is he in jail? Nah, he's not in jail no more. They out. Uh, but Brian did some, he pulled some, some whack moves on that one, bro. He, yeah, he pulled some whack moves. C's, he getting into it. Um, C's with, always been on the edge for me, man. I'm telling you, man, he ain't 100%, man. I don't know. See, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, that, that one is difficult to uh, figure out. Then when I went to New York and actually saw that the shops are real, yeah. And they actually exist. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm gonna keep watching it now because I ain't want it to be no VH1 setup. Okay, like okay. everything was actually nah, legit. I shots. went to 125th and 113. Okay, so okay. they they actually there. And the one in 125th, I don't know why they don't put them on TV no more. They got mm. some bad females in there. Like I don't know why it's not on TV no more. Maybe because it's the smallest one, but it is what it is. Yeah, I heard he had one that they wouldn't film where most of his. Where, 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 That's where the actual tattoo. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but uh, 
just a little reality TV, man. Okay. But back to Drake. Um, he brought Chris Brown back on stage last night. He's on the Unity Tour. I, I'm he not on mad his at grown it. man. That's what he on. He's on his grown man. He's making peace with these dudes. He's getting I'm older. Not, I'm, not, I'm not mad at it. Mental all, growth, man. You know? I mean, it's all good. I believe people should be able to make music, you know, music together without no complications. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at it at all. You know that's uh, what sells too. All that beefing and controversy, that was, that's what that, sells. And that's what I was just gonna say. What you can't have too much unity in hip hop is not designed that way. Now I don't think Drake's mind frame is there no more. His mindset is different. Drake, he don't care about all that no more. Drake trying to go back to his original. I just want to make music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Sing and I don't care about none of that beef. Yeah. So, but wait a minute now. But before the Pusha T, with the thing with the uh, uh, what happened with Mr. West and all that right there with uh, him. The, the thing with me is, he was pretty gung ho about, you know, causing any type of friction at all. Who? Drake was. I mean, if somebody came in here and said that he mentioned or even disagreed with him, he was attacking him immediately. Whole song and everything. So now, you know, I understand him being, and I'm saying, you know, you can't be like, okay, truce, man, it's all with. I feel that, but what, what, uh, what changed your mind? I mean, well, the fact that somebody you get older, came man. out and stuck, yeah, he keeps say saying that. how he could have came at Pusha T and did this. I feel that maybe that was a pivotal moment where you had to think about this mess and think, wait a minute, this is kind of stupid. I feel that. But what opened your eyes? Was it the fact that somebody actually stung you one time? Well, I mean, he addressed all of that on, on, on the, the show. show. Yes, that's what I'm saying. He's so, saying is, that... Is, is that truly what made him open his eyes? Was it the people around him going, hey... <laughs> nah, the diss track from, from Pusha T, he's addressing things as... As with Drake is like about like his parents and all of that. You don't even know my parents. How are you talking about them? Talking about his friend with MS. Yeah, but, that's the, but that is the essence of battle rap. People that's, go at each other. They don't get know dirty. what's going on in your life. They just talking about what they see on the surface. They don't really know no, what's going on. No, but it, like it, the, it's the, the way process. you obtain all of this information. You get invited to Wyoming. Crazy, and Kanye deep, do that dirty. Come bad, on, man. The actual and then you rap. give it to to, to push it to diss Drake on his album. My album might help you produce. But if Drake, nah, but if Drake had been able to say what he wanted to say, which like what he did like on one of his songs in the first beginning, he kind of threw a little tag out there. If nobody had said nothing in response to that, it would have been business, business as usual. I don't think we would have heard this part of Drake right here. Uh, he did admit to adding songs to his album after the um, Push T diss. I mean, I don't care about the Jess. I can see that. I'm just letting you know. The game ain't over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My bad. We, we gonna go back to what we talking about. I just wanted yeah, to show my yeah. man what was going Straight on. Up. I don't Straight care up. about no Jets, man. They playing the Colts. NYC. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you better cheer for them because you sure can't cheer for the Giants. Yeah, it'd have been the yeah, Giants. It'd have been the Giants. Anyway, I'd have been yeah. saying it. Hey, yeah, man. But back to Drake. Back to yeah. Drake because yeah. we about to get on some yeah. so foolishness. I, I think it's a good thing of what he's doing. But I always kind of, I think it's always a, a bit of a trip what inspires us to make these major changes in our life and lifestyle. Just, and let's see if it lasts. Now this is what, 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 month number four or something like that? We don't know if this is going to last? Man, look, I'm, I'm all for, you know, I'm all for Drake getting, you know, getting cool, Meek Mill, because that means more hits coming with them too. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with him getting, especially with Chris Brown, man. I'm a huge Chris Brown fan okay, i feel like okay. i feel like that incident with rihanna just screwed him out of a, a whole bunch of awards and achievements people people ain't like chris brown first of all they said bruno mars who who's better bruno mars chris brown, chris brown. And i'm like it's not even close mm -hmm. to me chris now brown. bruno mars may be more I don't even know if he's more talented. We haven't seen what all he's Chris not. Brown could do. We've seen Bruno Mars put his whole thing on display in the Super Bowl, you know, things. He's playing the drums. Chris Brown won't get to do that. Chris Brown hasn't had a chance to show those, you know, abilities yet, so we can't even say who's more talented. Off the surface, right? song for song, dance for dance, I'm sorry. Chris Brown, easy. And, Chris uh, Brown looks like he can sing everything that Bruno Mars can sing. Bruno Mars can probably sing maybe 75% of what Chris Brown can sing because of the way Chris Brown sings. There's a difference in style there, a difference in cadence, but God, that's tough, but I will, I gotta put Chris on top just because I think he got something we haven't seen. I think we've seen what Bruno can do. Even though he's gonna get better, yeah. I still think we have not seen uh, probably, you know, we've only seen probably 50% of what Chris Brown Let's, really let's uh, get to Bruno. You remember that? I don't know if you remember that issue about uh, they saying he basically taking our culture, our music, and thriving off that, and that's how he's as big as he is. What, what's your opinion on that? You know what? I really can't say that because, I mean, what is it, Cuban or something like that? 
Something like that. Something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. you know. And, and 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 our music is is is, is infused with that. You know, so I can't trip on him for taking Ooh, a part of. We've been going for days about that, about yeah. taking our culture. Yeah. Look at, look at Amy Winehouse, and that's my girl. I love her music. Plus, right. So yeah. what? You know they what I mean? say, uh, they say that our culture is being jacked. Our, our, our music, our style. Yeah. I mean, these people make good music. Look at this. Um, what's this new girl but name? You, the chick off the uh, the iPhone commercial, Snow Allegra. <laughs> oh, she's. Ooh. Well, you know, you know, it, it, it is a it, it is a form of flattery. But at the same time, as long as it doesn't they jacking, lose they, its they roots, jacking. the problem is, it is losing its roots. No one is telling them where they're getting these styles from. Nobody's saying, "Hey, I really." That's why you do you your know research. I, mean? I sing like this because Luther Vandross sounds like that. I sing like this because you know what I mean. No one is saying this right here. They're saying they're just taking it. They're coming in and saying, "Well, you know my style," and they're they're they are uh, we are allowing people to make it seem like they're doing something original and new. And they're not. They're not doing anything. Now, all of this is a remake, man. And you know see, I mean? you got people like Tom Mitch. I had an um, artist that I play with, Quinn Moore. For the people that know him. Um, I was listening to a Tom Mitch song in his car, and we was like, yo, this is killer. It had, you know, he played guitar, he had a lot of jazz feels. He could sing, kind of sound like a mix of Robin Thicke and somebody else. Um, but he was like, you know, let me break down. He was like, he's touring and doing Madison Square Garden, things like that. He said, but we got black people that put out songs just like this all the time. But since they're black, it goes unnoticed. It, people, was, K. Michelle even said it. You know, people looked at her like she was crazy and she was a hater. But she has a point when you think about it. She has a big point. She has a big point. Do you think Robin Thicke, Justin Timberlake, maybe just I don't know, because Justin can dance and I don't oh, know. But Justin is a great artist, man. He's a great performer, yeah, great artist. All that. But great, do you he's think? A great artist, but he wasn't true with it. You know what I mean? If that's not, if, if that's a true style, that's what you do. Like some 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 artists out there are stuck. Well, not well, not stuck. But this is their true style. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Bobby Caldwell. That was his true style. Yeah, he, like, he didn't come out with a whole new style, totally sounding like a like like a traditional white artist, and you know say, you know what I mean? He he stuck with that style because that's the style. John B can't seem to change. Justin Timberlake just did a damn near country album. That's not his original style. So he did pop. He can do R and B just because you can do it for a reason. Don't mean that that's your music. Yeah, a lot of Reggie can do country, but you know what I mean. But is he a true country artist? So I can't even put you in the category to judge you against my grace because you're not even here for the full duration like they were. So do you think, um, um, what's his name? Robin Thicke. You think he make it as big as he is if he's black, singing the same songs? Nope. Not one bit. The, sa- Thicke, the same Robin, exact songs, for real? Because nice Kim, look at Kim. Kim does that uh, type of uh, cry storm type of music that Robin Thicke tries to do. Now Robin Thicke will put a pop song out there, but what he really does, we can't. Kim, isn't quiet, but Kim does that type of music and what? He he's he's a, he's a jazz artist. Kim, he's sound, not even considered an R&B artist, which he is. All his stuff sounds the same though. But he's they, just you like Sade. I'm, I'm taking just I'm taking like Robin Sade, Thicke over Kim. He finds his niche just like Sade. All Sade music sound the same too. Kim music he has that niche just like a Sade. I'm still going with Robin Thicke. You still going with Robin Thicke over Kim? Yeah. I mean, this ain't even a Kim versus Robin <laughs> Thicke thing. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Are yeah. you kidding? Have you seen Kim live? And have, have you seen, seen Robin Thicke live? Yes. You seen them both live? Yes. And you gonna give me Kim? As far as Robin Thicke over Kim? As far as no, band? No, no. As far as band? Band wise, I'm gonna give you Kim. I'm about to say, please don't go there. But just overall show, I'm taking Robin Thicke. Show, but singing. Kim sounds the same. He does that same run. But can you buy you? Oh, girl, what he can do? Oh, that, he gets on my uh, nerves with I that. I found his niche. I'm telling you, that's a thing about finding <laughs> your niche. As a, as a singer, you find your niche. Now, I'm not hating on Robin Thicke. Trust me, I'm a big Robin Thicke fan. Everything he come out with me sounds good as well. You know what I mean? I yeah. love Robin Thicke. But at the same time, I cannot. No, you know what? I can't put him in the category because he hasn't shown any change yet. Cool. He hasn't yet. Robin Thicke has been coming out with the same style of this type of like jazzy R&B or neo soul or whatever it is, shifting with the change of it. You know what I mean? He has been keeping that consistently. This is Robin Thicke. He's not a, a person that's that's uh that 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 can do R&B. He is an R&B artist. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's not gonna switch up and start doing rock all of a sudden. That's not him. But when you say Justin Timberlake, I'm sorry, he's not an R&B artist. He's a, he's a he's a pop that, artist. He's a that can do R and B, that can do country. You know, I'm returning my roots and do country. Like Taylor Swift, she can do country. No, no, she can do pop. She's a country artist. Taylor, 
Mm. She's a country artist, man. She came out doing country. I don't want to talk about no Taylor Swift because she she is a country artist. I went to one of her shows when I had to work at the Cowboys Stadium. It was the most boring show I've ever been to Minus in my life. Miley Cyrus is a country yeah, artist. Sales. It's crazy. Yeah, she's, Miley Cyrus but is a country switched artist it up that can do pop, hip hop. See, uh, if you're a talented person, you can do certain things. Yeah. That doesn't mean you are that. You just can do it. You so, know what I mean? I don't know, man. We're going to have to get back into that on the. I mean, but, but, but seriously, though, Kanye West, real fast. Yeah, let's get into him. As an avid Kanye West listener in the beginning, yes, I am so I am so disillusioned right now with this dude. I have to just totally wipe him off. I gotta be done with it, man. I mean, I I, I, I hate to be this way. I will keep a small ear just in case he wakes back up. But right now, I got to put him on mute, man. Man, I, you know what? I try to defend that dude as long as possible. Me too. I can't defend him no more. I got remember he blocked me on. Yeah, well, I got yeah. me blocked for twelve hours. Yeah, going at him on Twitter no more, bro. You a bomb. <laughs> can't do you that. You a bomb, no more, bro. Can't do that. Up. You sitting there. You sitting there giving me blocks. I'm telling you the truth about yourself, boy. But whatever, man. It is. Man, this is all for attention. This yeah. Is so relevant. All that nonsense you talking about with Bush. Your, your music. I don't even want to really touch on that too tough because it was just ridiculous. All that super. Man, talking. What is wrong with you, bro? Like, like how do black how do black people like Bush more than Kanye now? Yeah, it seems seem that way, man. Because I must admit, man, God dang. I don't even want to give that that's too much bad. light because it was it was that dumb. It's like it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. It was stupid. embarrassing. And you sound ignorant. And I see his latest interview. And I think he put Jim Brown in a tight spot. I, I stopped listening. Yeah, what was Jim Brown doing? First that? of all, Jim, Jim Brown, Brown was probably there to just you know like 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 just like he came there with some other people. Jim Brown seems to be Trump's. Black ambassador or something, because he always seems to be there with always. whatever, you know. Always. Somebody I else don't know. be there too. It's another, uh, I don't know if it's an athlete or an artist. I know you're talking about. Somebody yeah, else yeah, was there yeah. too. Who, who was that? I don't know, but I, I didn't, it was overshadowed. Crazy, the whole thing was overshadowed by Kanye West ranting about man, stuff dude, that he's not right about. This like dude the welfare. said, we should be, the president should be flying in a hydrogen powered plane. Do you know we haven't used that stuff since, since like the Hindenburg? Hmm. Hydrogen powered? I mean, he, and he showed a picture like he was the man needs help. He needs help, and no one's gonna uh, get it from him. Bipolar talk that I don't believe none of that. <laughs> I don't even say I that. I don't believe <laughs> none of that. He he just going. Th- this is his way. This is his excuse. Acting crazy, yeah, acting crazy, and it's like he justifies his nonsense. Oh, I'm bipolar. What? I don't know if it's bipolar. I feel like he got nah, some it, he got some mental issues nah, and it happened when his mom ass Negro. That's what it People is. People keep saying it would happen when, when his mom, mom died. died. I feel that, but I think he, he always dead. been in love. He always been in love. Yeah, there. but he the last time I listened to him musically was uh the eight oh eight album. I'm right that there was with it. You. After that? I'm right there with you, fool. Eight oh eight's and heartbreak, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was that, that was it for it me. And I was, I didn't get full into I only found like two tracks from that right there. I was feeling that album. I wasn't right. feeling the whole album. I was, I was like, dang, you know, it was, he kind of it was hella different, but I was digging that album. But after that, it's like, yo, what are you, what are you talking about? I don't want to hear you on, on tracks. I don't want to hear you in an interview. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. You done. Yeah. Man. He did everything he that he did everything off. he said he was going to do in the All Falls Down uh, song. He did everything yeah. he said he was going to do. So, if, if he just doing what he said he gonna do? Oh, did y'all hear dude spitting on uh, Instagram? He took Kanye B and he was kind of killed him with his own music. I didn't listen to it, but I saw he it. Though. I, you know, I be trying to listen. Oh, Some, sometimes yeah, they dude, didn't get him on that. Big up the dude, man. He got skills. I'm sick of TMZ giving Kanye all this time. Well, you know, no, 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 no. Ratings now, up, look deeper than that, though. Keep the ratings up. Look deeper than that, though, man. I mean, what is feeling that? Why is Kanye and all the people getting that much focus? More than just him being an actor in the show. Mm-hmm. Why are they giving him this much focus? Because they're trying to change the narrative and say he's the voice of, of black people or, or just black hip hop, period. They're trying to change that narrative and say he speaks for us. And he don't. And I'm telling you, man, they're going to close. And they put it, they're going to put him out there so much yeah. that when history is revisited, yeah. It should look like this ranting crazy man was the voice of this generation. I'm telling you, that's what they're doing, man. They don't want to put anybody up there speaking anything intelligent right now. Look at LeBron James. That, he has to be on paid cable TV. And Kanye has a free platform. He goes into an Apple shop, stands on top of a, a desk, and just rants for about an hour, man. And people gave him that platform. Yeah. And that's what's going to happen. Any other black person would have been either arrested, told to get a store, it would have been a problem. How can you do that? How can you, anybody else? How did this man not get arrested? How did he not get stopped? You gotta think about that, man. You gotta think about that. That's ridiculous, man. They know what they doing. And Kanye's the, the stupid idiot. 
Y'all call There's, it what he is. You an asshole. Call it what it is. You know, I already been blocked. I'm going to let you get blocked this that time. Is, <laughs> that's good, yeah. man. Stupid for that, man. That was it's a like, bad move. You talk about a high dosage of, of arrogance and ignorance. It's like, man, let, get off the gas, bro. Yeah. Real quick, yeah. let's take a break with Twitter. I told you about Chicago. They was down 7-0, now they up 14-7. We're, we're going to come back. Dolphins. No, Dolphins Sh- Chicago. Away. Okay. Dolphins got the ball right now and see what happens. You know I, I, told, I told you about that Chicago. Yeah. I mean, I guess we ain't going to never come back. It looked like the Jets. Yeah, what happened there? It looked like the Jets then went on and about to put that game away. Yeah. Yeah, what up? 30-13, stop playing, man. Chargers doing their business. Uh-huh. Yeah, I picked them. Only so. score that matters is Jets. Seahawks is doing the fool right now. The Raiders suck. I'm glad they're losing. Did I pick the Raiders? Yeah, you yeah. picked the Raiders. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, I'm sure <laughs> yeah. I did, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, but, um, uh, that's pretty much what we got for Kanye, man. I'm trying not to give him too much attention. No more attention uh, after this. Yeah. Shout out to Drake for working out things with Meek Mill. I like that, man. Working out things with Chris, Chris Brown. Yeah, get yeah. on your grown man. Uh, yeah. bro. I'm ready to hear yeah. some more Chris Brown, Meek Mill, and Drake. They can do an album together. Hey, man, Chris Brown to me is going to feel be hot, man. So they did a track together. They did a record together. Them three? That would be hot, man. That'd be hot. Yeah. Matter of fact, we got Meek Mill playing in the background now as the music. Yeah, that's that's his time. track. So, uh, comeback story. Call Dangerous, that's man. Good, that's a good comeback story. Meek Mill, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody do that. Everybody had their foolish moments, man. Everybody get into it. Good. You know, oh, wait. But, smile question. Smile no. question. How do y'all feel about the Migos smashing Nicki Minaj? Uh, what's the name? Quavo from the Migos smashing Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. So and the other one got. Yeah. Come on, bro. That's a good play, man. That's a good play, man. You know. The, and the other one got. What's the name? That was uh, probably talked about in fantasy. Yeah. Quavo said that? Yeah. Huh. Admitted to it, but not admitted to it, but I guess admitted somebody. The first thing that enters my mind, why? Why why would you Okay you Cause the other did. one is smashing Cardi B? Yeah. And they Is that a crazy connection though, man? Cause those chicks are beefing so hard right now. Right. Why's why, why, why next somebody doing a track though? Exactly. Something good, oh, man. Propaganda, man. Something good will come of this, man, because it's oh, all planned out nine days. Speaking man. of propaganda, y'all gonna hear me. Next <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about that. I can't that. wait for this. Yeah, right, uh, so we're gonna uh, talk about that. We got Bud Crawford, his fight coming up. Uh, we got the uh, Conor McGregor, which we were supposed to get into last week, but uh, again, we had a special guest, so we let him have the time. Yeah, and it was great. It was great to even have him on. We plan on having some more special guests coming up. More special guests coming up. Stay tuned, subscribe. Mavericks tickets coming up, local yeah. sports tickets coming up. Hey. It's a shame we got to give y'all stuff to subscribe that show support. But it is what it is. We not sponsored. We going to do what we have to do. Get our grind over the guard. Yeah, we, we serious about this. So uh, it is what it is on that. One more thing. On the shop. Didn't Drake say he showed Kanye a picture of his son? He said he sent them a picture of his son. That's how they knew he had blue eyes. He said mainly everything and they were spoken tell, about, he revealed to, to about them his before. parents. The, the everything, kid, yeah. That. He told them the release date. about the mother. The release date. He told them about the, uh, he was having issues with the baby moms. He oh, showed them most of the tracks. He confided album. in this yeah. man to them saying, and then you turn around and let push the T. That's bad. Boys. You know, I got to see. On the same track, I, I never, I, produced. I, 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 I never uh, picked a side there, but I got to kind of lean towards Drake on this one now. Huh. It ain't over, Jets. Come on, man. What you mean it's third quarter, eight minutes left? Yeah, we multitasking here. We talking about a Who couple of things. Yeah, you multitasking for right? real. You throwing some Nobody, hate in there with that multitasking. Okay, everybody said the Chargers going to win. Chargers, right? yeah. But you see that. It ain't over, bro. I'm trying to it's tell you. It's surprising me. Oh. Uh, yeah, man, forget Carolina, man. Is that a man. professional thing? Professional haters? Is that, is that a professional? Like, <laughs> I'm not hating. I don't hate the Jets. I just want the coach to win so I can be right. That's all it is. I don't like the coats. <laughs> Ugly uniforms, they boring. I don't know you like Andrew I don't like nothing about the coats. The coats to me seem so plain and mayonnaise, I can't man. stand them. You know what I mean? Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. I look at the coats like I look at the um, Notre Dame Irish. Not even, not even Miracle Whip. Yeah. Can't stand them. Let's go Jets. But, hey, it is what it is. Jets win, good for them. Um, but, Kanye, you a snake, bro. You a snake. You whack. I'm trying to keep it PG. For my people that watch that don't like all that extra stuff, Dude. you whack. I, <laughs> I, I heard that uh, Jay Z and uh, Beyonce decided not to be. They said like they have ended their association with him or something like that. Like they, they been publicly dated. dated they they, they like that a while back. I heard Jay Jay Z don't have anything to do with Kanye. Is Kanye? Terrible, man. 
Like, bro, you, you I think it was something about when Kanye was getting married to Kim and Jay didn't show up. Yeah. But Jay was going through his own personal thing. Yeah, yeah. As, if that's your boy, that's your friend, and you know how serious... I think he was he going about to lose his wife. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. He was going through something serious. I'm sorry. Yeah. If Beyonce telling me she's going to leave, yeah, we got to get serious about this thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I ain't got time yeah. to worry about nobody else's wedding. I would understand. Yeah. And I don't want to go to no wedding for my marriage in trouble. Yeah. I don't want to go to somebody see else's wedding. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but my, my yeah, I don't want to see them happy. Nah. Like, nah. <laughs> and then you married to Beyonce, bro. You better not let Beyonce go nowhere. Nah, you can't. Bro. Nah, you got to do whatever Beyonce. In the end. Beyonce, it, in the end. end nah, of the, hey, what else? Beyonce, that's Beyonce. I can't, I can't you know. Forget Kim Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, I can find somebody else, but why? No, why another thing. I? Another thing. A damn mannequin. Nobody's another thing. Man. Kanye want to get mad and get on Instagram talking about, uh, uh what's his name? Nick Cannon. And who else talked about his yes, wife? Uh, oh, the game wasn't the game. Yeah, no, uh, no. Ray J or something. Yeah, Ray J and Nick Cannon. Yeah. Don't talk about my wife, bruh. Hey, your wife Ray J about. smashed your wife she's on famous. camera. She's famous because of Ray J. That she's famous. Only reason she with you because of Ray J, basically, because you wouldn't know who Kim Kardashian was. Listen, right. bro, you know and what she, you had when you <laughs> married her, man. You know what you had when you married her, man. Along that, and, and that woman ain't saying nothing because she know. You know what I mean? So come on, man. And then I'm you tripping so much. Y'all know how Nick Cannon is. He gonna say whatever. Like, and, Nick, and we know Nick Cannon's not tripping. And Nick Cannon probably got a chance to bang your wife right now. So quit tripping. And then they say that who, Kiki, who, who do you really, love me? They say that Kiki really song. That's Drake. Yeah, he was tripping on yeah. Nick Cannon. Oh, that was Drake. true. That's supposed to be about Kim Kardashian. It could be, bro. That's what the Kanye came wow. to that conclusion. It seemed like a Joe Budden came to that, that, condu- that conclusion too. How the hell can you Kiki though? That's her name. That's a nickname. Oh, and he used to, that. and a lot of stuff in his song happened in real life. Like he went to, I guess, a house where they used to kick it together or something. I gotta listen to it again. But nah, man. watch Joe Budden that podcast. That happened while they was married. See, that's the bad part about it. What I'm saying, so dude, you know your wife out here doing this thing while you out here having episodes and stuff, man. She posts butt naked pictures on social media just to over top Beyonce. Anytime Beyonce posts something high, oh here, oh oh yeah, Beyonce, huh, titties. Your That's wife what I cannot do. be out here flat butt naked, man. On and social media, and chill. you telling you telling dudes to shut up about her. No. Dudes that already got her. Yeah, come on, bro. Hey, bro, shut up, what man. What you're saying really is, can you stop having sex with my wife right now? Basically, because she's still doing whatever she want to do. I just don't understand how, just based off her past, you making this family with her. She's a groupie with money. Her dad is a woman. How? How? <laughs> Where did he come from? Chicago, right? Chicago. Shout Ooh, out to him. God, they took a hell of this one. Right here, boy. Didn't he say he moved back to Chicago, but he didn't? He did what? He said he moved back to Chicago. Maybe he need more time. I don't know if he's moving back. He's, he's trying to do something with the... I don't know what Kanye's trying to do, man, because Kanye's all over the place. Like, one minute he's saying he's trying to build schools or build mental health buildings. The next minute he's talking crazy. Talking about the mega hat makes gives me superpowers. I ain't taking and medicine no more. You sitting here mad because Obama called you a word. You mad because Hillary Clinton didn't really kiss your behind like you wanted her to. So now you all of a sudden on Trump. Man, Trump. Anyway, we not getting to Trump. Yeah, Trump. No <laughs> anyway, Trump we gonna leave that alone. No Kavanaugh. Cause we we said when we first started this podcast, we ain't gonna talk politics. Uh, Cause of foolishness, yes. cause we all got strong opinions about that. Yeah. We don't want to offend nobody that watch our podcast for the other stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. with, with other stuff. So we gonna keep it to what we keep it to. Free on that. We almost got there because I was ready to go on a full thirty minute rant <laughs> just now. <laughs> so I just stopped. I'm gonna sit on back. I'm gonna keep my phone in my hand. I'm watch football right here. We gonna end this topic. <laughs> we gonna yeah. go to the next one, Probably which is talking about which is talking about Jimmy Butler. What he did to Minnesota. That's my dude. I don't know yeah. what happened there. Oh. Yeah. And something happened with the Steelers game? What happened? Conor McGregor. I'm going to pull it up in a minute. Conor McGregor and then Bud Crawford last night. And Dante Wilder knocking out a mascot. <laughs> Said he broke his jaw. We'll see. Uh, but it is what it is. Brooklyn 214 Podcast. We'll be back. We're going to hit the sun. Lovely. We got symbols in here for the people that's listening on Spotify. You don't know hey. what that sound was. Got a drum set in here. Brooklyn decided he want to get his. Um, okay, you Travis Barker on. You not play drums, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you talk Man. too much noise. Yo, my dude nice with the drums. Don't let him nice. talk that now. He's nice, nice. with the drums. Let's, you you going to tell me? You going to stop talking noise about New York? Why can't be all that, son? See? <laughs> See? Anyway, Dude. man, we got some more special guests coming up. Not today, but soon. 
Trust me on that one. I promise you. Welcome to One Four Podcast. We out. Peace.